Hey dinosaurs, so I just showed you guys a clip of this huge box of stuff that I ordered again from JustLink.com. Um, all of the stuff I kind of unwrapped because I wanted to try everything on because I got really excited. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys a bunch more stuff from DressLink.com because I really enjoyed ordering from them last time, even with the small complications. But I also wanted to tell you guys that they did update some of the problems that I saw on their website the last time. So, um... I mentioned how they didn't tell me that they were going to split up my packages. Now, right before you order, there's like a yellow bar at the top of your order screen, and it says that they may split up the packages because of their weight. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really good that they improved on that. So, the first thing I'll show you guys is something in a package, and it is a scarf that I got, and it's super cute. Um, I, I'm not sure if I can pull off the scarf. But it has like the little arm sleeves, um, I'll probably do the same thing I did last time with little clips over here. Yeah, and it's a scarf and um, I think it can look really professional if you wear it with some of the pairings that I saw on their website. So yeah, I really like the scarf. This next thing, I'm kind of disappointed in how it looks on me. Um, all of the models on their website are Asian, so they're a lot shorter than what I am. But I thought it was going to be more of like a giant sort of like blanket like walking around in a giant blanket but it kind of just looks clunky on me I don't know it just looks like I didn't know what I was doing when I purchased it the sleeves kind of look off they're like bat wing sleeves so they just kind of look off to me um yeah I'm not really too happy with this item if I was in a store I probably wouldn't have purchased this item so I've actually already worn this next item it's like a jean hoodie that has like fur on the inside it's super warm I can wear it um, outside during the winter and it's really cold because I live in Canada um, so I can wear it during the winter and I can still like wear it though when I'm inside my school so I think that's really good like thing for your jackets to have to be able to wear them in the super cold but then still be comfortable in a school it's a lot heavier than I think it looks in pictures and stuff it's like really heavy and um, also a really cool thing about it is that this lining on the inside you can actually zip off and you can take it off and you can wear this jacket in the summer Woo! More jean jackets! Okay, so this jean jacket I think is really cute because it kind of reminds me of like something you would wear to a concert or like a festival or something during the summer. It looks like nothing when I'm holding it. But I think it looks really cute on me and it looks kind of like the way it did on the model but you know. It never really looks like the way it does on the model. This jacket's a lot less heavy than the other one, but the other one also has the um, wool lining or whatever what's inside of it. So I, that's the weight differences. So I got another jacket that kind of reminds me of Mr. Rogers, the like show with like the old guy who's in his house and he has like the train. If you guys know what I'm talking about, that Mr. Rogers. So <laughs> yeah, it just kind of reminds me of it because of like these three colors. It's like fake fur on the inside that's really warm and it keeps you warm during the winter. Um, the only thing is that it doesn't say on the website is that the actual sleeves don't have this fur material. So it's nice, it's a nice sweater but you wouldn't be able to like walk outside when it's windy with it because it is still pretty chilly. Okay, so I bought these sweaters that everyone I've kind of shown them to have hated them but I really really like these sweaters. Um, I'm not sure how you go about styling them because they're just so outlandish but like the pattern is just I really like it and then there's another one it's basically the same thing but in a different color and when I was on the website I accidentally ordered two of this darker one that kind of reminds me of like more hipstery and the other one reminds me of like more girly so now I have an extra one of those so I'm thinking maybe if I go to like, I'll have a giveaway when it's like until like a thousand subscribers or something. Um, yeah, let me do, let me know that down there if you guys want to have like a giveaway or something when I get to a thousand subscribers. The next jacket I got, it kind of looks like shag carpet. Um, it's really hard to show, but the um, this like furry fuzzy part, it doesn't actually go on the inside. So I thought it did, but it totally doesn't. So.
And a sad thing about this like shaggish carpet jacket is that it's really tight around my arms, um, specifically around my like elbow area. So it's really uncomfortable to wear. And also um, I have like a big, big hips. So it doesn't really 100% close on me. So there's still tons of stuff in this box. I ordered a lot. So then I got two of those shirts that kind of stop like right underneath your bust. And I don't really know what they're called, but I know they look really, really cute with like maxi skirts. So I got this one that has like a cutout here. I like this one a little bit better. And it has like this like see-through sort of material here. And it's like long sleeve. I really like this one. And I also bought a maxi skirt because I actually don't have any. And I've really been wanting a maxi skirt. So I got this one just a black maxi skirt and it's really cute it's really comfortable now this skirt makes me really sad because on the website it looked like it was a lot bigger and the measurements said that it was gonna fit me um like snugly but it does not fit me at all like I can't get it past my boobs if I'm pulling it over my head and I can't get it past my butt if I'm pulling it up like from my legs so this skirt is just not gonna work but it's a really beautiful skirt so it's sad that it's not going to fit me. It has like these flowers and stuff on them. But the problem with this skirt, it doesn't really look like the skirt that's on the website. Because the skirt on the website, it looks like it's like longer and it has more material. You can just tell that the skirt was made cheaply just by the way like, the way they sewed certain things like into the skirt. The sewing isn't straight. So you can just tell that the skirt was made really cheaply. So, I mean, you probably won't be able to see it if you're walking with the skirt, but I won't be walking with the skirt because it doesn't fit. And my last item is this super cute, like, little rabbit sweatshirt. Super adorable. And I like it so much. Um, the only problem is that it's kind of made out of, like, sort of itchy material. Like, when I put it on, it's a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm probably going to have to wear it with, like, an under like a shirt underneath just because I really cannot stand itchy clothing and also it's a little bit tight on the arms um but other than that it's really cute it's really cute on the plus side nothing in my box this time smells bad everything smells like relatively normal um for a box that was shipped in the mail yeah I'm really happy with everything I got I ended up spending around $204 or something and shipping was a lot more expensive this time and I'm not 100% sure why but I believe last time the shipping cost me like $20 or something and this time the shipping was like $70. Be careful on shipping and also the way that they ship their things is they will raise your shipping price by um, the weight of your items so if you put in a bunch of really heavy jackets then your shipping costs a lot more so it just sucks them to ship it to you relatively fast and relatively safe so that you're not losing any of your stuff so yeah um, I haven't had a problem with missing any items from dresslink.com I, ha I have had some problems with like mix-ups of items like the leggings I had before some of them got mixed up but I think that might have been a problem on my part so Overall, I really enjoy DressLink.com. I mean, I'm wearing one of their shirts right now, so I mean, I obviously really like their website. Um, I think they have great customer service, and I think that if you want to buy some clothes that are pretty cheap, um, it's a good place to go. You just got to make sure that you always buy clothes that's one size up so that you don't get stuck with a skirt that doesn't go over your booty. So yeah, I really like DressLink.com, so you guys should check it out if you want to. I'll leave the links all in the description as well as my social networking links. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Roar!